Saturday night, GOJHL semifinal action. The St. Catharines Falcons looking to keep their season alive. Down 3-1 in the best of seven. Mets with a capacity crowd looking to move on. First period, Hayden Jeffrey flashing the leather early on. What a save by the Falcon netminder as he keeps us tied at zero. Now at St. Catharines, what an effort by Brennan Anderson below the goal line. He hits Nathan Kelly up top. Kelly has his second of the postseason, and the visiting team strikes first. It's 1-0 St. Catharines. Now dying seconds of the first frame. Check out the hands by Sam Tonelli. He's going to make his way into the high slot to the backhand. He'll feed Jaden Flora out front. Flora has his fifth postseason goal for the Meteors. And after 20 minutes of play in Fort Erie, we are tied at one. To the second period we go. 30 seconds in. Mets on an early power play. Sam Tonelli again. Across to Kyle Adamo this time. Who buries Adamo off another beautiful feed from 37. And Sam Tonelli has his second point of this one. Mets go up 2-1. to one. But it wouldn't last very long. About midway point of the second period. St. Catharines looking to even things up. Zach Mambella at the side of the goal tucks it in. Mambella, his second in as many games, and we are back to square one. We're tied at two. Now late stages of the second frame. Things getting rough. Zach Mizzy is going to be hauled off to the box for that hit. That would put St. Catharines to the power play late in the second period, and this is how it would go for Kitts. They're going to retake the lead in this one. 15 seconds into the man advantage. Tipped out front, Brennan Anderson has St. Catharines back on top. It's 3-2 after 40 in Fort Erie. To the third period we go. Late stages, still 3-2. Meteors looking for one final push as time ticks down. Ryland Masterson a chance at the horn. No good. St. Catharines survives another day as they get game five in Fort Erie. The Falcons are going to move back to St. Catharines for game six on Monday night back at the Seymour Hanna. Puck drop, 7 o'clock. Fort Erie with another chance to advance. Or St. Catharines trying to force game seven back in Fort Erie on Tuesday. Final from Fort Erie. Meteors drop game five, a tight one. Sam Tonelli with me. Sam, a battle right to the end. What did you like and what are the positives you're going to take out of this effort here tonight? Yeah, I mean, we battled hard all, all game and... I mean, it didn't end up our way, but I thought we had a great battle. Everyone was working hard, and things just didn't go our way. We couldn't find the back end that when we needed to. Take me through what's clicking with you. A couple of really nice passes in this game to get the guys on the board. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Just playing hockey, really. I, not much is going through my head when that's going on, but just looked for the open guy and found him. Got a big win back in their rink in game three. You got to go back there for game six. You know what's going to be packed. You know what's going to be buzzing. How does Fort Erie come out on top in game six? Uh, the same way we've been coming out on top of the last three games we won. We just got to come ready to play and work as hard as we possibly can.